Hey guys, I'm Jam. Uh, we're in another chemistry at home experiment. Now, I'm not a chemist, but I've been given instructions by a chemist, Melissa, to make something pretty interesting today. And then on today's chemistry at home episode, we will all find out what chemistry is going on. So I've got these plastic, uh, I just cut off the bottom of plastic bottles so I can dispose of these later per Melissa's instructions. And I've got some borax and some school glue, some regular old tap water, and uh, some chopsticks to stir with, and then some tablespoons to measure with. So let's start with putting one tablespoon of water in each container. And on this one on the right, we're going to do a tablespoon of school glue. just a little bit back in here because not all of it came out of the tablespoon. Okay. And then over here, we're going to be putting in a fourth tablespoon of borax. And one thing that my sweet wife is kind of to tell me is that um, you should be careful around handling borax. Wash your hands afterward um, and don't handle it for just a super long amount of time. She's seen People have rashes and stuff like that if they aren't careful with it. So just word of the wise. Don't get these mixed up. We will do that later, but for now we're gonna keep them separate. Okay. And we're gonna stir them. So take out your chopsticks, your very official chemistry gear. Be careful breaking them. This is a really important step in all chemistry experiments. And then make sure you don't rub them together because that's rude. So I'm gonna keep these separate for now too. Just kind of so. Just stir up the water and glue. You can add food coloring to this part. I didn't have any, but I think it would look a lot cooler and less bland, whatever we're making, if you do have food coloring at home. Okay. Stir up the borax a little bit. I'm not totally sure what borax is, but I'm going to ask Melissa when we record if it's made from actual bores or not. Okay. It's about as mixed up as it can get. So now, I'm going to pour the... I think I'm going to pour this one into here because the glue is kind of... Well, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to pour the glue into here because the borax is not fully dissolved in here yet. So I think it'll be better, easier to stir it in here. Here we go. This catches on fire at this stage. You've done something really wrong. So. And now we're going to do some more stirring.
우후 starting to get pretty thick actually I also said I might need to pad it with a paper towel. There's excess water. One second. Oh, wow. Just to me stepping away for a second. Look. We have made, and there's one of my hairs in there, we've made um, a very plain white slime. It's actually, I think, depending on how you do it, you might not need to pad it for extra water removal because if it sticks to your chopstick like it did for me, then you'll be able to get it out pretty easily. But then you've got some slime. So you could make this be a crazy green, blue, orange, indigo, who knows, dude. You can make it be whatever you want. And it's just a weird kind of like slimy, gooey consistency. So um, tune in to today's Chemistry at Home episode to see how to make this weird stuff and what um, chemistry is at play when you're doing that. And I'll be learning as well. I can't wait to hear how the heck these simple things made this little creature we have before us. So. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.